Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a different ride today. We are on a Harley Davidson Street Bob. Now this is a 114 uh, engine. I think this is a 2021 model. Absolutely love the look of this bike. Uh, so yeah guys, let's go. Alright. So first things first, it's extremely weird for me. This is the first sort of big Harley that I've been on. I've been wanting to uh, get on the, one of these for a little while now. Um, so yeah, super exciting. Um, and yeah, seating position obviously is super weird for me. Um, you know, having uh, big forward controls is definitely not something that I'm used to on a bike. Even like just putting your feet down feels really weird. But um, sounds fantastic. Hopefully it comes across on uh, camera. And this is just a stock exhaust. So you know, you shove a, uh, a nice Vance and Haynes exhaust on this and it's uh, it's going to sound amazing. Hopefully we don't get too much traffic. It's got so much to walk this engine um, and this is coming from you know I haven't ridden I haven't ridden too many Harleys before so this is a very interesting sort of oh what are you doing um, you know this is, I've ridden the uh, Street 500 uh, and this, so very, and it's starting to rain as well, which isn't great. Woohoo! Oh yeah. What a cool bike. Yeah, I really wanted to just experience what, what these are like because, you know, I haven't experienced these at all. Oh, this rain is bloody annoying. I swear to God, lately, every time that I'm out on a bike, it starts to rain. It's very, very frustrating. Hopefully it's not too much. So yeah, guys, these are a 114 engine. Uh, you know, it uh, sits, I think it's their second highest. I think there's an 1800. I think that's the highest. Uh, the highest engine capacity they have so this is pretty this is pretty good um, obviously I'll put up the uh, the actual stats I'll put it up uh, now for you guys uh, a little bit about the horsepower numbers if I can find it and um, the weight of this bike oh feels really good you know, these bikes are all about, you know, that real low down torque. Uh, they, they, oh, this rain. So frustrating. Sorry, guys. Very, very annoying. We're going to turn around up here. Hopefully we can get out of this rain. Love this bike. Oh man. Such a fun bike to ride. It actually feels it actually feels quite smooth, like even though it's such a big engine and you know Harley's obviously are typically known to be really smooth bikes, but gearbox is really good. 
Um, not a big fan of these handlebars. I definitely, um, I definitely get some flatter bars. Hopefully you guys can see, and this uh, the camera is not full of water. a nice engine absolutely love this guys <laughs> didn't think I'd like this actually but um yeah really enjoying this hopefully you guys can see there just clean that camera a little bit yeah this um this rain is very annoying didn't actually, it wasn't meant to rain today, which is uh, really surprising. But uh, we'll, we'll go for a bit more of a ride, but yeah. Listen to that engine, guys. Uh, but yeah, something, if you haven't ridden one of these big Harleys, go definitely go and go and ride one. Thanks to the guys down at um, Brookvale Harley Davidson. If you're after one of these uh, bad boys, go and hit them up. They'll uh, help you out with a good deal, but um, but yeah, guys, this is um, this is exciting and something very different. You know, I wanted to, I wanted about the, this channel. I just wanted to make sure that we, um, you know, we try out everything uh, on this channel. I'm not, you know, sticking to one sort of niche as well. Um, not just sports bikes or not just you know Harley's or you know Nakeds. I wanted to be. Uh, very diverse and, and, and show you guys what everything's like and coming from obviously my restricted license and uh, right up to you know riding these bikes and, and how it feels compared to, to the other bikes that I've ridden um, so yeah I mean this is completely different I mean this is just wild compared to what I'm not what I'm used to Even just, uh, yeah, just a seating position. But it's reasonably comfortable. The seat feels comfortable. Um, and it doesn't actually feel that heavy either. Um, but, uh, yeah, and this has got a 180 rear tyre, so it's got to be a bigger, chunkier rear. Um, I'm also really keen on a fat bob. Um, that I, I hopefully I'll be able to ride soon. Uh, that's the bike that I'd probably pick in this engine. It's got the same engine as this. But yeah, guys, I feel this actually feels like you know fairly light. It handles, feels like it handles well. Um, it definitely, like I said, it doesn't feel that heavy. I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying it. Hopefully, just don't want this one of my videos before. Bloody the uh, the rocket! You could hardly watch the video because of the uh, the water on the camera. I want to make sure that you guys can see. But yeah, obviously the dash is very basic here, but um, you know, serves a purpose. You know, these Harleys are not about you know having all the the you know technical you know stuff in the world. But um, yeah, basic. Doesn't feel like it gets too hot, which is good. Mirrors are good too. Can see out of well. Like I said, I'd, I'd change these bars. I'd get sort of lower flat bars um, for sure. I just love the sound of this bike. With an exhaust far out, this bike would be amazing. Thank God it's sort of stopped raining now. Can actually show you guys what this baby's like. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll throw up some other colors as well now. Um, so you can see. 
I don't know. I, I quite like this this color scheme. I think it looks quite good. I'd probably, although I'd probably buy just. I like all black Harleys, but uh, that's just a personal preference. All right. Oh, it's still bloody raining. feel so cool on this bike like it's hard to explain really and um yeah the feeling it sort of gives you I don't know it's like really sort of you know you're on something pretty damn serious as well you know it's you know it vibrates and um you know and, and it's, a, it's an experience riding a Harley. It's not like anything else. It's got heaps of character, obviously. Um, you know, I'd really, really like one of these in the garage. I think, um, you know, like I said in my previous videos, I am trying to look for sort of more of an, a comfortable cruiser slash naked. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to see what these were like. Maybe, maybe a uh, Harley can join the channel. So sorry guys that this rain is happening. It's definitely a very annoying. But yeah, just the torque alone is just crazy. Like this would be as quick as my BMW, like zero to sort of 60. I think this would keep up with my BMW. No problem at all. It's weird not having a quick shifter again. Like, second gear, heaps of power. Oh, yeah. What a cool bike, guys. What a cool bike. But yeah, the feet, the heart, the controls are just really hard to get used to. I think these are actually the mid-mounted sort of ones. They're not real forward, um, but yeah, they're kind of just in an annoying spot. I don't know if I could ever get used to that. I'm sure you would, but I keep wanting to sort of, my legs keep getting caught on them. But yeah, definitely needs different bars. But that's that's all that's all and an exhaust get a nice thumper yeah to start with it's just a bit a bit odd but definitely i'm already getting used to it it's only been sort of 15 minutes but yeah it's definitely a bike that takes you know the clutch is fairly heavy um brakes are good as well guys they're, yeah they don't feel like they're lacking um you know i'm just i'm just Everything I'm coming from here is coming from my, you know, my sport bikes, stuff like that, so. Just, I don't know. I really like this, and it, and it actually feels like it corners really well. Um, it doesn't feel doesn't feel that heavy. 
I think it'll be really interesting with sort of lower bars and see how this feels, but just the torque guys is just out of this world. The torque is is really something else. You've got to experience one of these. Really, really fun. Yeah, I think definitely the 180 rear obviously helps quite a lot with that uh, with that turn in. Such a cool engine. Such a cool bike, guys. So glad I could uh, could do this for you guys today. I'm gonna try and ride a few other Harleys as well, because they are super fun. Woo! I am loving this. <laughs> what a great bike. Such a cool bike just to ride on. You know, even if you just bought it right on the weekends and like, Go for rides with your mates. I mean, I've got a few mates that have these Harleys and and they just, they love them. They love them. We'll turn down here. So much fun guys all right that'll do it for today guys I hope you are enjoying the videos uh, I'm just gonna pull up here hold on two seconds actually I might just go down here let just pull up down here Alright guys, thanks for watching, oh, I'm just going to pull up here for a second, alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed our review of the Harley Davidson Street, uh, Street Bob, I think that's called what it's called, Street Bob, yep. Um, but uh, yeah, heaps of more videos to come, also on my S1000. We'll be in installing the new uh, Aquapovic exhaust, um, but I will also do a video on which one that I've actually chosen. I'll be doing that soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.